All right, so during times like this, it's important to kind of keep a focus as to what the church itself should be doing. It's a important and valuable thing um, to always, of course, go by scripture and what the churches have historically been able to do and the concepts and ideas laid out by them. And so it's important to look at scripture. One of the scriptures I love the most, especially during times of trouble, is the book of Philippians. If you have ever read it, you know for a fact that Philippians does not come across as a book written by a person who is in great distress, but rather it is very hopeful. So I'm going to read and share a bit of that. Philippians chapter 2 verse 1 says, Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing in the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourself, not looking to your own interest, but each of you to the interest of the others. So, What's important out of this passage is that whenever we have difficult and hard times around us, it is important and even more important during those times to want to help those who are in bad spots, uh, who may be suffering, who may be ill, things like this. It's the whole concept of caring for your neighbor. And what's important about it is that we need to look out for the interest and the well-being of others, and that's not just our church family but other people in general um, to be honest any more people will disagree as to what that means but at the end of the day there's love uh, for your neighbors especially when somebody's ill or sick and which we all know that there's terrible things happening in the world around us right now there's a lot of opportunities to be able to reach out just to sometimes pick up the phone and check on people see how they're doing uh, just give a phone call you know it carries a lot of value to people uh, it's still a sign of community, of being one with others, which is what Christ is speaking of. But another thing also is being active. You know, you can do great uh, works, and to be honest, sometimes those great works are not something great from the outside. It's something small and humble, but yet it's something that means much to those who are uh, on the receiving uh, side of uh, that blessing. And so it's important for us to try to take the opportunities we can and I know for a fact that this is something that happens very regularly in a small town community, but something that the church as a whole needs to be engaged in. And wanting to care for one another, of course, is a very, very biblical concept. It's not just for our friends, but also, you know, to to care for those who are outside the church as well. In fact, that's one of the ways that the church itself had grown so much whenever the church was first founded in 33 A.D. Um, it, it was compassionate beyond compassion in a time period where compassion was rare. Um, now you can argue what love really is, and a lot of people confuse it today, but sometimes love's kind of hard too. There is such a thing as, as uh, hard love, tough love. But the main thing is, is right now, if you look at the world around us, there's a lot of people that are sickness. There's a lot of things that are happening negatively in people's lives as a result of the uh, pandemic, whether it be because of uh, impacting their jobs, income, things like that, or even actually being sick. Check on people. Love one another. Take care of each other. Those are things that are all basic parts of a church community. Another thing also, if you look back historically during uh, the various plagues and outbreaks in the past, a lot of times the church would meet together and one of the main things that they would do is they would pray for each other, but they would also organize help for those who were in need. And those are things that the church has got to uh, really embrace because, you know, we're not always going to, in the political climate we live in, we're not always going to agree with people on certain things politically. But we can all agree that God loves everyone, and he doesn't wish for any to perish, but that instead we can try to make impacts in this world for God and in his name. And so that's a challenge for all of us. It's something for all of us to, uh, to want to work toward, and by no means is anyone perfect at it. But instead, it's a goal, and it's a great goal. So I encourage you uh, as you go throughout this week and throughout the remainder of this year because I think 2020 is just going to be continue to be a rough year take the time take the time to care for others 
take the time to help one another. And those are words that you can never, to be honest, you can never really dispute those things.